Trophy materials are rare and very expensive items that are needed to craft different trophies. There are two of the best methods of getting them. One is chest runs, and spoiler alert, they do not drop from elite chests. I will tell you what is the best location and if luck will help you in any way. The other method is furniture crates. Here I will tell you what you need to do to get them and what is the most efficient way of getting them. Now sit back, relax and let's dive in. Hello everyone, Slypex here. As mentioned, there are two methods of getting furniture materials. First is chests and battling with luck. Trying to get these high ticket drops that will finally make you rich. Different trophy materials can only be dropped from large stockpiles, large ancient chests and grave offerings that are in their zones with content level above 50. Meaning that if you join an elite chest run, you will not be able to get them from elite chests, but only from stockpiles that are there. Like with all of the chest runs, luck is the biggest factor when it comes to dropping the, the materials you want. In a nutshell, luck works like this. Every time you open a chest, the game rolls a die from 0 to 100,000. Every item or set category has its own number on the dice. So, to get trophy materials, you will need to roll 99,500 or more, making it a very rare drop. I would say it's about 0.5% drop rate. So good luck with that. Making any solo chest run would be almost impossible and a sure way of losing your time, even if you find a solid spot like Brimstone Sands, for example. However, for the argument's sake, improving your luck can increase the drop chance, but for how much? Well, let's calculate. If you have all of the gear and weapons and the bags plus with pristine pearls inside, you will get about 41.7% more luck. Plus, if you add three major loot luck trophies, you will have 46.2% luck. This sounds like a big number, but don't be deceived. In reality, each percent of luck adds 100 points to your minimum and maximum roll on your die. Meaning that in total you would get 4,620 points added to your roll. What are now your odds of getting the trophy materials? Well, previously you would need to roll 99,500 points to get a trophy mat. Now you will need 94,880 points. So you'll get from about 0.5% drop rate to almost 5%, making it 10 times more farmable than before. But is it worth it? Well, that depends to you. So there comes in the second option, which is far more straightforward. So the second method is where the furniture materials drop from furniture crates. So what you have to do? First, you need to get max level of furnishing, which is 250 for now. This will unlock the ability to get past the level of 250 and you will be able to obtain so-called furniture crates. In these uh, crates obtain very good loot. Anything from all of the tier 5 materials to schematics for your furnishing skill and trophy materials. The best way I have found to level up your furniture skill is by crafting musical instruments. I also will do the same thing when it comes to re uh, farming your amplitude crates. Also, when you're leveling, make sure you use first time bonus craft as this will make your life much easier. So basically you try to craft every single recipe you can, plus you try to focus on all of the musical instruments. When it comes to farming amplitude levels, the best way I have found is by crafting the following rugs on the screen. All of them will provide you with a decent number of experience, but what is the best part, they are the easiest to farm and when you savage them, they will drop infused silk, making it much cheaper to craft than all of the other methods. Overall, farming these big ticket items such as trophy materials is a sure way of getting rich. And this was my take on how I would go about making money with them. 
If you have any tips or feedback that you would like to share, then make sure you write them down in the comments below. Plus, if you found this video valuable, then like and subscribe for more as more of such guides are coming in the future. Now have a great day and goodbye.